Hello students, today's topic is our S block elements. <clears throat> so what is S block elements? That is L I uh, N A K R B C S. So this five are our group one elements. Okay. So these are called alkali metals. So their electronic configuration of outermost orbital will be N S one. Okay. Physical properties. Let us see. That is atomic radii down the group. It increases with no exception. Okay, I or ionization enthalpy decreases down the group. Density increases down the group. But here is an exception. That is, N A has more density than our K. Okay, so this is the exception. Now there is a heating reaction. So if we uh, heat these metals in a flame. Torch or uh, in a what you can say gas burner, we we will get uh, for Li it will be our crimson red, for Na it will be golden yellow, for our potassium it will be violet, for Rb it will be red violet, for Cs it will be blue. Now please remember these colors very carefully because they often are asked in NEET. Okay. So next is our chemical properties. Chemical properties reactivity towards oxygen. That is Li plus O2 gives us Li2O. That is a monoxide. But in the second metal, what we can see that Na plus O2 gives us Na2O2. That is a peroxide. Okay. And the rest of the three metals, that is potassium, Rb, and cesium, gives us superoxide. Okay. So please remember this. That the first Metal gives us monoxide, second metal peroxide, and rest of the three are superoxide. Okay. Now, next is solution in liquid NH3. Now, every me alkali metal is soluble in liquid NH3, and it gives us a deep blue color. Now, why is deep blue color is formed? That is, color is due to ammoniated cations. Okay. So it is uh, also a very uh, often asked question that why the deep blue color of the NH uh, alkali metals after it is soluble in liquid NH3 is formed. That is because of the our ammoniated cations. Next is reactivity towards water. That is all metals form respective hydroxide leverage hydrogen gas. Now all hydroxides are readily stable. Except our LiOH, basicity and solubility increases down the group. So that means what happens that the order will be like this: that is LiOH is less than NaOH, less than KOH, less than our RbOH, less than CsOH, and the same order will be followed here. Okay. So next is reactivity towards halogen. So reactivity towards halogen, that is uh, the order uh, will be C S greater than R V greater than K greater than N A greater than L I. Okay. Melting point, boiling point, thermal stability all follows a certain order. That is our. Let us see. That is L I C L is less than our. NaCl less than KCl less than RbCl less than CsCl. In all this, it is melting point, boiling point, thermal stability. But there is an exception in case of thermal stability. That is, in case of uh, fluorides, that is LiF will be greater than the NaF, greater than KF, greater than RbF, greater than our CsF. Okay, all halides are soluble in water except our LiF because of its uh, high lattice energy. Okay, high lattice energy. Next is our CSI. It is also not soluble because it is low hydration energy. Low hydration energy. Carbonates and bicarbonates that. Uh, so carbonates will be like this, Li2CO3, and bicarbonates will be LiHCO3. 
like this thermal stability order will be increases down the group okay so then what will be the order that is li2co3 is less than na2co3 less than or k2co3 less than rb2co3 get than less than our ch2co3 now in case of nitrates the thermal stability order will be as same as the carbonates that is lino3 less than nano3 less than our kno3 less than rbno3 less than our csno3 okay so let us see the next that is diagonal relationship now we have already seen it in our periodic table okay but those who haven't seen it the link is in the description please go and see it okay so i'm just going to uh, say it very shortly here that is uh, this uh, metals who are in a diagonal position with uh, one another uh, in the adjacent groups they so uh, similarities in their chemical and physical properties that is li so similar properties like mg and na so similar properties like ca okay that's so next is our uh, important compounds that is caustic soda so caustic soda we know that it is naoh now there is not very important uh, reactions in this naoh just remember that it is prepared in kester kallner cell because sometimes they ask you the name of the uh, cell next is our washing soda that is it is prepared by uh, next our solve process and it's formula is na2co3 nh2 so here if we heat it at 375 kelvin temperature so it becomes a monohydrate okay and if we heat above 375 kelvin temperature it becomes anhydrate and forms the soda s okay so this is the now let us discuss about group 2 elements that is b mg c a s r b a down the group in this electronic configuration of the outermost orbital will be ns2 now the physical properties that is atomic size increases down the group ionization enthalpy decreases down the group density is b a greater than s r greater than b e greater than mg greater than c so it is exceptional so just remember it and then electronegativity that is b greater than mg greater than ca greater than sr greater than b so here is no exception the electronegativity decreases down the group same coloration now as we can see here that is our b and mg does not take part in flame coloration but ca take parts that it's from brick red color then our sr forms crimson color and ba is our apple green here it is only crimson not crimson red okay so don't confuse it next is our chemical properties so reactivity towards oxygen so the first three metals that is b mg and our ca they form only monoxide or oxide okay but the rest of the two metals that is sr and ba they forms peroxide okay so next is reactivity towards water so uh, as we can see that it forms this kind of hydroxide okay so let us see the what will be the order at the basicity and our uh, solubility is increases down the group just like the group 1 bit so the that will be the same for order that is bm oh whole twice that will be mg oh whole twice that will be our caoh whole twice and it will be uh, then it will be sroh whole twice it will be baoh whole twice now there is also sulfides okay 
so the solubility of sulfides decreases down the group okay because i am writing it here because as you can see because of the hydroxides it increases down the group but in case of our uh, sulfides it decreases down the group okay and the last compound is insoluble okay so let us see the next that is reactivity towards halogen that is tendency to form halides decreases down the group it is and here is a compound bcl2 it is special because of its structure so as you can see its primary structure is like this but when we heat it it becomes like this and if we further heat it it becomes bcl2 okay then again some other compounds that is cao quick lime now cao is prepared like this cco3 heated then it forms cao plus co2 co2 is vaporized and so CO, cao remains now uh, if cao makes aqueous solution then it will be called lime water and if uh, it forms a suspension of cao over water surface that will be called milk of lime now this will be very confusing in exam so please remember it because it often asked then the last uh, compound is our plaster of paris that is caso for half h2 how it is prepared it is prepared from gypsum that is formula is caso for 2h2 and it is heated over 393 kelvin it forms caso for half h2 okay so that's it for or is block elements